Hello, Peter. Good evening, everyone. So today I am going to test uh, how much we have, uh, you know, achieved as part of the preparations that we are doing for CUET. Huh? The exam is only in two days. Let us try to see how many questions we are able to attempt correctly in today's full syllabus test. So full syllabus test three. Okay, Bacche. the first question for all of you is this. It says, you're given that the consumption function is CT is equal to 0 0.6 YT plus 0 0.3 YT minus 1. And you're given that the investment function is 2.4 YT minus YT minus 1. You're also given that the initial level of Income in the economy is 40,000. Calculate the rate of growth of output in the economy. Calculate the rate of growth of output in the economy. Please pause your screens for a second. Take a pause. Try to read the question yourself better. Try to do it yourself first. And then we will do it together. Okay, beta. Please try to see how to solve this kind of question. In this case, we know that y is equal to c plus i. y is equal to c plus i. I am given c is 0 0.6 yt plus 0 0.3 yt minus 1. And I'm given I is 2.4 YT minus YT minus. Right, beta. Let me open this up. 0 0.6 YT plus 0 0.3 YT minus 1 plus 2.4 YT minus 2.4 YT minus 1 will be YT. Right. Let me bring all like terms on one side. So this is yt, 0 0.6 yt, 2.4 yt. So I will bring all of them together. So I will get yt minus 0 0.6 yt minus 2.4 yt is equal to minus 2.1 yt minus 1. Look here. This is 0 0.3 yt minus 1, 2.4 yt minus 1. So I will go ahead and get minus 2 yt is equal to minus 2.1 yt minus 1. Now I will put t equal to 0. So I will get minus 2 or t equal to 1. Right there. t equal to 1. So I will get minus 2 y1 is equal to minus 2.1 y 1 minus right beta. So from here, I will go ahead and I will get 2 y 1 is equal to 2.1 y 0. So this will give me y 1 is equal to 2.1 by 2 y 0. So y 1 is equal to 1.05 y0. This will be the relationship between y1 and y0. Now what I will go ahead and I will do is I will try to go ahead and I will find out what is the growth rate. And the growth rate of output will be the value of output in period 1 minus period 0 upon period 0 into 100. To growth rate more. So this is going to be 1.05 y0 minus y0 upon y0 into 100. Right? So this is going to be 0 0.05 into 100 and this will be 5%. So the correct answer for all the students who have marked as 5 is correct. The correct answer to this question will be 5%.
ओके बेटा कम टू द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन टू फॉर यू टेस्ट A function is selected at random from all functions of set, and you are given a as a set one to n, and a goes to itself. Mane, this is a, and I am deriving a function from a to a. The function is defined from a to a. So you know this one, it can be linked to one, it can be linked to two, till it can be linked to n. Kisi bhi ek se link ho sakta hai. सेम इट कैन बी मेनी टू वन फंक्शन ऑल्सो ना सो टू वैल्यूज कैन बी लिंक टू वन ऑल्सो राइट और इट इज पॉसिबल दैट वन वैल्यू इज लिंक टू वन एनीथिंग इज पॉसिबल इट कैन बी वन टू वन ऑल्सो इट कैन बी मेनी टू वन ऑल्सो क्या बोल रहे हैं बच्चे इट इज सेम अच्छा रिमेंबर द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ फंक्शन इज दैट वन वैल्यू कैन नॉट हैव मल्टीपल वैल्यूज देन इट विल नॉट बी अ फंक्शन वन वैल्यू कैन ओनली बी लिंक टू वन uh thing on the uh, on the domain can only be linked to one in the co domain ha huh? so you can't link it to more than one ye yaad rakhna hai baat ko ha okay now coming back to the question so the question is saying that you have this set a and it is linked to itself what is the probability that the function selected is one to one to beta aise questions mein there is no time to solve you should know all the properties so the property is that the total number of functions which can be generated are n to the power n when a function goes from a to a the total number of functions are n to the power n right and the one to one functions they are n factorial to so favorable number of functions ho jate hain n factorial iska ek reason hai dekho dhyan se suppose i have three values 1 2 3 and here i have x y z so x can be linked to any of the three values suppose x is se link ho gaya into now for it to be a one to one function y kisi bhi teen se nahi link ho sakta hai right this two has to be linked either to x or z x two cannot be linked to y if two will be linked to y it will be a many to one function but for it to be a one to one function Two can either be linked to x or to z. It means it can be linked to any two values, right? And suppose two is linked to x, then three can only be linked to z. तभी तो वो one to one function होगा. So it will only be linked to one value. So cases will be three factorial, favorable cases, right? But what will be total number of cases, बच्चे? Total will be that one can be linked to any of the three values. Two can only be linked, also be linked to any of the three values. And three can also be linked to any of the three values. So three to the power three. So total cases are always n to the power n, but favorable cases are n factorial, right? So now the question is asking, what is the probability of selecting a one to one function? So it will be n factorial upon n to the power n. So beta, I can write this as n into n minus one factorial upon n to the power n. This cancels out. This will be n to the power n minus one, you know. So this can be written as n minus one factorial upon n to the power n minus one, and this will be the answer to this question. Right, beta. Come to question number three. Try to do this yourself first. This is saying you have two functions g and h, and you are given that g is root of x minus one. And h is x square plus one. You need to go ahead and find out a composite function g of h of x, and tell what that will be. Pause your screens, beta. Try to do this question yourself first. Then I will do this. Okay, let's do this. So now try to see that you have a function g x and h x given to you, and you need to find g of h x. But a lot of times I keep my timer on and I keep looking at the timer to make sure that you know the questions given to you are such that they are doable in the given time period. So if I will see my timer, my 
my aim itself is to do the question within one minute, right? Although I start explaining and I take a lot of time, but when I solve the first time, you will always see I have solved it the first time. Why I solve it in advance is to see whether it can be done within a minute or not, right? Because in exam, you have to attempt these questions within a minute. So if I myself, I am not able to attempt it in a minute and it is very uh, difficult to solve, then it is of no use for you guys also. So I keep looking at my timer at all times, right? And that is why I suggest students that BSc level cannot come in exam. DSC doesn't used to not give 75 questions. DSC used to give only 50 questions. Here you have more questions to be done. Hmm? So per question, the time that you allot will be different. And here the syllabus is also different from DSC. In DSC, in maths, there used to be a topic called matrix. And there are multiple questions on that. It is not going to be there in CVD. So doing DSC paper is a waste of time. Please don't do those. Now, with whoever is suggesting you to do DSC paper is also just trying to deviate you from achieving your path. Don't do it. Please don't listen to anybody at this point of time. Achha, let's come back. Huh? So G of H of X. So G of H of X means you have to plug in HX inside GX. So you have to plug this function here. So you will get x square plus 1 minus 1 under root. So x square plus 1 minus 1 under root. So under root of x square, this will be plus minus x. So it can be written by mod of x. It can be written by mod of x, right? So the correct answer to this question will be b. Okay, better come to the next question. Try to do this yourself first. Pause your screen. Read the question. Do it yourself. If an individual deposits a sum of money in the bank, then the amount of traditional credit that the banking system can create is. So the question is asking how much credit the banking system can create. Option number A. A fraction of that sum defined by CRR. A fraction of the reserve defined by SLR, multiple of sum defined by CRR, and none of the above option. So you need to go ahead and tell how much money would be generated by the bank, right? Would it be a fraction of CRR, multiple of CRR, fraction of SLR, or none of the above? Try to think better. Okay, so the correct answer to this question is D, none of the above. When we talk about the multiplier, one way of writing multiplier is 1 by reserve ratio. When we talk about reserve ratio, it includes both cash reserve ratio and statutory liquidity ratio. So multiplier is affected by both CRR and SLR. But none of the option talked about it being a function of the both. Ya wo CRR bol rahe hai, ya wo SLR bol rahe None of the option is saying that it is a function of both of them. Right? So therefore the answer will be D. None of the above. Okay. Read the next question better. Which of the following is true for the government budget? Revenue deficit is lower than budget deficit. Revenue deficit is less than or equal to the budget deficit. Revenue deficit is always more than or equal to the budget deficit or none of the above. Try to pause your screen. Read through the question. Try to do this yourself. So try to see that revenue deficit Is revenue receipt and expenditure gap? Revenue expenditure or revenue receipt minus revenue payments. Right? So revenue expenditure or receipt minus revenue payment is revenue deficit. 
when i talk about budget deficit it is revenue deficit plus capital deficit this deficit in capital account i can have a surplus also so i can have capital surplus also capital receipt and payment can be equal also it means it can be zero also and it can be negative also that means expenses can be more than the uh, here i have written expense expenses here and receipt here sorry ha huh. to so, expenses can be more than receipt also expenses can be less than receipt also expenses can be equal to receipt also so depending on in the capital account do i have expenses more than receipt equal to receipt or less than receipt it can be positive negative or zero accordingly the relation between budget deficit and revenue deficit can be any way around my budget deficit can be more than revenue deficit it can be less than revenue deficit it can be equal to revenue deficit so i cannot go ahead and give one direction as to where this uh, you know what kind of uh, relationship will exist i cannot go ahead and tell that right so accordingly the answer to this question will be none here i cannot tell that out of these which one would be true any one is possible right so none of the above will be true okay beta come to the next question it says x and y are random variable and variance of x is 2 and y is 4 and covariance is 2 and w is given as 2x plus 3y then the variance of w will be again pause your screen for a second try to do this question yourself then i will do it so you are given w is equal to 2x plus 3y you need to go ahead and find the variance of w try to understand that the variance of ax plus by is a square variance of x plus b square variance of y plus 2ab covariance of xy plus minus depending on what you get here and if x and y are independent then this will be zero so on that basis if i just try to solve this this will be a square that means 4 variance of x plus b square 9 variance of y plus 2 a b covariance of x covariance of x y if i just try to plug this in beta 4 variance of x plus 9 variance of y plus 2 into 2 4 into 3 12 covariance of xy so this will be 8 plus 36 plus 24 68 right so the correct answer to this question will be 68 right beta okay beta so this is it that i wanted to go ahead and discuss today and i hope that you have done the maximum questions correctly uh, and you know you should be allocating the last two days to your revision and to practicing the maximum questions possible right the more kind of questions you will see in the last two days the more uh, confident you will be in the exam right beta okay thank you